Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer coming to you from the North Puget Sound here about an hour north of Seattle right now. We're going coho fishing. There's a lot of coho in the state of Washington. You don't really have many in Idaho, Oregon, California, so we came up north to do a little coho fishing here in the fall. Out fishing with Todd Daniels of Tall Tales Guide Service. October is the peak of this coho run, but it'll certainly start in uh, middle of September and shoot, you can catch nice bright fish all the way up to middle of December. Still got him. Good for you. All right. We're on the Snohomish River system, um, which consists of the Snoqualmie, the Snohomish, the Skycomish all come together. So you have all these rivers that uh, have all these fish going up in different directions. We're hitting them down below, trying to get them all. Oh, oh, and the hook comes out. Look at that. <laughs> All right, here we are with the first Snohomish River coho of the day. Uh, caught on a wiggle wart. Uh, hopefully, many to come, but a uh, oh, beautiful day out here and a lot of fun. So it should be a nice day out here. It's a real late run this year with as dry as it's been here in the Northwest. Fishing is going to be a little bit of tough. So, what's going to make us do is use a couple different techniques. We're going to throw out fire cured eggs today and we're going to fish a lot of plugs today even though plugs isn't something we normally do we want to catch fish and we're going to show you how to do both Todd I'm not used to this this is a tackle box and uh, I don't have any of these because I work for a bait company yes. and we're normally out here promoting bait but you know what today we want to catch fish and there's several methods going on out here today why are we using plugs what's the water done that makes us using it plugs today the plugs work great in these low clear water conditions because what happens is these fish uh, as they're migrating up river um, we're pissing them off basically that's the gist of it yep. these things they've they've when they enter the river system there's one thing on their mind is they've got to get up river to get to go make babies um, and when they have these loud plugs rattling in front of their face like that it irritates them and they come up and smack them right. try to get them out of their way now, what, consequently, what happens is the water starts rising and the temperature of the water starts cooling off and absolutely turns over to a bait show. And man, the, the fire cure, uh, cured up eggs uh, is absolutely killer out here. It's just, we're right on the edge of that temperature line. So as it drops down, hopefully in the next couple of days, it might be today, we're gonna try it. Right. Um, and then that kind of, it switches over and they start chewing on those eggs really, really well. It all works. Bring it all, bring you know the kitchen sink, you know so to speak, because uh, at some time, some way, it will work. But you know these, I would say the plugs and uh, nice cured eggs uh, are, are kind of your go-to. Right. And you, you mix it up until you find the ones that bite the best on those. We're gonna get back and show you that both techniques do work out here. <laughs> get it in, get it in. Where's it going? <laughs> get the net, get the net. <laughs> oh yeah, we need get the, the net. net. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, walk back here. Whoa, whoa. Here. Where is he? Right Where is he? There we go. Ah, okay. It's hey, look at it. it popped up. Ah. I told you it's my favorite plug. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just don't believe me. Oh. Another Snohomish River coho. Oh, yeah, do that. Another chrome coho. Another chromer. He's fresh out of the ocean. Jumping around us. Have that net He's swimming out, man. I know. Oh, over, walk backwards, walk backwards, walk backwards. Oh, oh nice run. Oh, run. <laughs> it's coming in the boat. Yeah! Oh, ho! Yeah! That's a board. It's just a small sword. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> This is one of the places you can keep both hatchery and wild fish. Now, hatchery fish consists of plus or minus 10% of the run, so not very many. We got our first hatchery fish just a couple of days ago, so they're they're primarily wild. Oh, it's a jumper! Uh oh. Uh oh. oh, yeah. oh. Fire cure is what I like. Either the reds or pinks. They're the two of my favorite. Uh -huh. The egg bite has arrived. The egg bite is oh, that's a nice, one. that's the biggest fish of the day. Put the yep. net underneath it. Yeah! Oh! Way to go! 
As you see today, we're fishing, we're fishing slow water and it's, you know, four foot of visibility. So you don't want a huge presentation rolling down back at them. You just want it small and nice and neat coming towards them. And those coho seem to love it. You know, quarter size, globs of eggs. I am trying to find where my eggs are. <laughs> <laughs> They're somewhere down there. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, boy. That's an egg bite, right? Yeah, it's an egg bite. It's an egg, yeah. I don't think it knows you hooked it yet. It's waiting to find out. Jack doesn't either. There he goes, goes there he goes. The death there. roll. He must know an alligator. Oh, it grew up on you, didn't it? Upstream. Sorry, there's some... There we go. Hey! Oh, oh. Wow, that was bigger than mine. <laughs> That's great. All right, so if anybody's ever wondering if the uh, Potski's uh, fire cure works for coho, Oops. oh yeah, they uh, inhale it. Yeah, all the way down. All the way down. This egg bite literally just turned on today and should continue for the rest of the season. So it's on. They chew, man. They chew. Coho love it. Here, let me open up that mouth for them. Get it on down there. 